<sighs> hey, I was wondering where you were. I were here. Did all those kids finish playing golf downstairs? Yeah, I finally got them all to go home. You know that red-headed kid? He swallowed two golf balls. My god, what did you do? Should I have done something? You're checking out the Briarwood websites. Yeah, do you think I'm being dumb about this? Why do you think you might want to go there? I'm not going to leave Ridgeway and f f Sam and Freddy and all my friends. You don't have to. You're my brother. You're supposed to encourage me to take on new challenges. Well, if you want to explore activities, just tell me what to do. Okay, listen. I'm your older brother, so I will help you through this difficult decision. Just close your eyes. Okay. Okay. There's two roads in front of you. Road A. And the one on the left. <laughs> Thank you! And surprisingly, 17 members of Congress could fit in one pair of his pants, which proves that William Howard Taft was the fattest president in the United States has ever known. Will this all be on the test? Oh, Carly, you're a Briarwood, we don't have tests. You have frozen yogurt. Frozen yo- Oh, okay. Would you like any toppings? Well, I do like nuts. Nuts! Now, who can tell me how many sides a triangle has? Three! Correct! <laughs> David, please give Kali a hundred dollars. I get a hundred bucks whenever I answer a question, right? Of course. This is Briarwood. Massage time! Oh, this school is amazing. I'm going to have some more of my yogurt now. Oh, it was just a dream. <laughs> hey, and welcome to the web show. Huh? Carly's not here anymore because she goes to Briarwood and now made all new friends. But don't worry, I'm not alone here. I'm Gibby. And I'm Sam. And this is a show we like to call I Gibby. Ah! Okay, first I had a sweet dream and now I'm having a nightmare. I want to dream sweetly some more. Oh, this is nice. I like Briarwood. Briarwood, Briarwood, and frozen yogurt, frozen yogurt, frozen yogurt, with nuts, 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 yeah. Mm. Sam Sam, my mom has been in a horrible accident, come down, I've got to I gotta get to the hospital. My mom's car's in the bottom. Your mom's fine. But I just got a message saying I sent the message to your teacher. I needed you to out of class so we can talk. How did you? Yes, can you please give a message to Freddie Benson? His mother drove her car into a swimming pool. You are a sick person. We got a problem. What kind of problem? In all moon, Carly told me she's gonna have that interview of Headmaster of Briarwood. Briarwood? Carly's gonna go there? If the Headmaster likes Carly, well, who doesn't like Carly? That's the problem with pants. Of course she'll like Carly. That's the problem. And then we'll go and make Carly in there and she'll bye bye us. I don't wanna be bye bye'd. Good, because I have a plan, and you're going to help me. <laughs> uh, uh, come on. 
Come on! That's what's taking so long. I'm still on hold. I sure we should be doing this. Yes, we're doing it for Callie. She would not like Briarwood. I know, but and if she stays here, there's a better chance that she'll fall in love with you someday. <laughs> You're right. We have to do this for Carly. But what if the headmaster doesn't believe I'm Spencer? I mean, what is she? Oh, hello. This, yeah, uh, this is Spencer Shea. Duh. Sound like Spencer, not Darth Vader. <gasps> oh, yes, this is Carly Shea's brother. Instead of Carly coming to meet you at Briarwood... Could you meet with her at our apartment? Why? Cause I sprained my buttocks. Right, so we can stay around at 5.30 this afternoon. Excellent. Yes, the same address that you sent the turkey legs. I look forward to meeting you too. Nice work. Thanks. But why does moving the interview to Kali's place have to help us? Well, the headmaster and Kali is going to material, right? A nice, proper, good girl? Yeah, well, imagine an interview. In an apartment filled with dozens of loud, screaming kids. Playing mini-golf? Free mini-golf tonight at Kali Shea's apartment? 5.30 to midnight? Uh-huh. You're bad. Uh-huh. 